Hello guys, thank you for tuning in TechyNets. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install the right display driver for your laptop. Yes, so there are multiple ways to download and uh, install a display driver. The way which I am going to show you is a 100% working way and it will be very helpful for you when there is no display driver in your laptop. So if you see my screen, I do not have a display driver. That's the reason the icons are more bigger. So what I can do, I will just go to device manager and show you. So I'm going to search typing device manager and under device manager, if I select display drive adapters, I can find only my graphic adapter here. I do not find a display adapter here. Also, if I try to change the resolution of my laptop, I'm right clicking the desktop and going to display settings. And here you can see the display resolution option is grayed out. This means I do not have a proper display adapter in my laptop so here it is I'm going to show you how to fix this resolution issue and display adapter issue or screen flickering or whatever it is without any delay let's go into the video before that if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe click on the bell icon like share and comment let's go into the video to fix this issue the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the serial number of your laptop so to do that Go to command prompt, open it and type the command WMIC space BIOS space git space serial number. As soon as you enter this command, you will get your serial number of your laptop. I cannot show you my serial number, so hence we will skip to the next type. So as soon as you enter this command, you will get the serial number. Just copy the serial number for future use. Now go to your browser. I am using a HP laptop. So I am entering HP sub. So as soon as you enter this keyword, you will get an official website of HP and also a URL path to download the drivers. This will work similarly to all the manufacturer. For example, instead of HP, I am entering Dell. So as soon as you enter Dell support, you will also get the official website for Dell and a URL to download your drivers from Dell official website. So if you're using Lenovo, you can use Lenovo support. So based upon your Mac device manufacturer, you can enter the keyword. So I'm going to the HP official uh, website to download the drivers. I'm selecting download drivers. So here uh, I'm going to select laptop. And now there are two options here. You can either allow the website to detect your HP product or you can enter in the serial number to get get the drivers which is compatible with your device so previously we had uh, copy the serial number right you can paste it here and enter you can also use the uh, auto detect option in HP however uh, it takes a little uh, more time so this way will work faster for you so it will take some time to install a agent in your device and then uh, to detect the device serial number and then it will give you the data so instead of that if you have a serial number you can just paste it and get the drivers so now hp has recognized my serial number and it has taken me to the driver download page so here i have option known as all drivers select all drivers so we are looking for display driver So, the, so display driver also comes under graphics so I'm selecting driver graphics so here you have multiple option to download the driver the Nvidia graphic driver is used for the graphic card so here I have uh, display drivers from Intel so there are three drivers but if you see there are three different version there are 25.20 26.20 and 27.20 so based on your requirement, you can select any uh, driver you want. So I will uh, go with the latest version, which is 27.20. So all you have to do is just click on download. So I am already having a HP assistant. That's why it is asking me to go through assistant, but I will download and install it manually. So based on your internet speed, it takes some time to download and install. It 
it's a 376 MB file it's almost done so now we have downloaded the driver setup file in our mission so the next step is to install it so there is no any specific thing that you need to follow to install all you have to do is just click and install it the website UI will work similar to all the manufacturers be it Dell or Lenovo or Asus or whatever it is you will be given two options one to detect the PC automatically or you can give the serial number to get the driver so I will always recommend you to give the serial number and get the driver so the process would be a little sooner so now I have a double click the driver setup after this uh, it's a basic process you have to click next and accept the license terms click on next and next and the driver installation will start up so again based upon your CPU performance and RAM availability it might take some time So during the installation of driver you might see your screen uh, flickering or going black for a second or two but not, you need not worry about anything it is just as normal during a display driver installation. It looks like the display driver has installed successfully so as you see my uh, screen uh, icons have become normal size however we will cross check it first go to device manager and if you see under the display adapter option you can see a Intel UHD graphics card has been added so right click go to the properties and under device uh, under driver section you can see the driver information so as you see the version is 27 and uh, after that you can go to the screen resolution settings so if you can see previously display resolution option was disabled now it is enabled and all my icons are uh, looking good there is no blur in my screen and there is no flickering in my screen uh, so this is it guys this is how we have to download and install the right display driver for a laptop so the way I have displayed here you can use it for any manufacturer so I hope this video would have helped you. If you have any queries, please do mention it in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And until I meet you in the next video, it is bye from TechInits.